We've just completed an 18-hour journey of the Taiwan Strait here on HMCS Montreal, and we were joined by an American destroyer that had a close encounter with a Chinese warship. Our trip through the most politically charged waters in the world started off as anticlimactic. The only thing visible were the calm seas, but we did know there was a friend close by. When the Navy travels through this part of the world, they're generally accompanied by Allied ship. Right here is a U.S. warship that will be traveling with the Montreal through the Taiwan Strait. That ship, USS Chung Hoon. It's been with the Montreal the past few days, but so have Chinese warships, shadowing the rare joint U.S.-Canada mission in the South China Sea, but from a distance. Once the fog cleared in the Taiwan Strait, we shot this video of one of the Chinese ships stepping up their aggression, picking up considerable steam coming in from the left, telling the Chung Hoon over the radio to move or there'd be a collision. The Americans told the Chinese to stay clear of their ship, but ultimately they were cut off and needed to slow down to avoid getting hit. The two ships missing each other by only 150 yards. When you're in big warships uh, maneuvering close to each other, 150 yards uh, is, is very scary. Uh, and you, you don't ever want to be that close to another vessel because too many things can go wrong and you can actually have a collision. That's HMCS Montreal Commander Paul Mountford. He watched the incident and believes the Chinese broke international maritime regulations and acted unprofessionally. The fact that uh, this was announced over the radio prior to doing it clearly indicated that it was intentional. The Chinese ships didn't attempt a similar maneuver on the Montreal, but did get within 1,000 yards of the ship. I'm hoping that uh, that was an isolated incident that, that won't uh, happen again for us because we have international law on our side. This is, this is international waters. As the day moved on, so did the Chinese, drifting further and further away from the Canadian and U.S. ships as they continued their course right through the contested waters. The Montreal has now left the Strait of Taiwan, but the Chinese warships are still shadowing it. But it's the near collision with the U.S. destroyer that might have lasting impacts on the U.S.-China relationship. Mackenzie Gray, Global News, on board HMCS Montreal in the South China Sea.